Hey guys, I know I already posted a video today, well, I guess now it would be yesterday, but I just wanted to kind of, I looked back at my videos and realized a couple of videos I put like a, year, like a while ago, I took off, I don't I remember why, but basically I just, I remove videos basically telling them about myself. So you know what, I'm gonna use, this is actually, I'm calling this Vlog 5. Even though I'm not really sure, so right now, it's my fifth vlog. Um, I just want to tell a little about myself, basically. Uh, my name's Corey T. T for Taylor. Um, I live in a small town. Uh, it's in New York. That's all I'm going to say. Although, I think I might have posted where I live, but... Oh well, we'll see how it's you actually looking. Anyway, uh, I was born with a, what they call a cranial facial deformity, and I was actually born with no left eye. Like, the eyeball was like all messed up. I don't know how to explain it. But I have a glass eye there now. My jaw was misshaped. It was like, the way they descri describe it is it was shaped like a U. And it's now... Oh, I'm sorry. It was shaped like a V. And they had to reconfigure it and make it basically in the shape of a U. And it took them like 18 years to finally be done with it. And I actually have six more months left for, uh, until it's completely done. Um, my last surgery is coming up, as you already know. And I'm really looking forward to it. And I'm not going to lie, I don't, I'm not happy with the way I look. But I'm happier. You know, I feel like at least... I look better than I did 10 years ago. Or 20 years ago. 20, yeah, 21 years ago. But I look great compared to that. And you know what? I'm happy with who I am. I'm in a comfortable place where I don't need to, like, hide myself away from everybody. And... You know what? If someone wants to say something, let them say it. It doesn't bother me. It hasn't been 21 years, and it's not going to start to bother me now. Uh, so what is this? I am addicted, as you see from the rest of my, my other videos. I am obsessed with pro wrestling. It's my biggest passion there is. I can tell you anything that's happened in pro wrestling from... 1992 at least. Until now. I've been watching since like 89. Like I was a year old when I started watching. But uh, I don't really know anything that really happened back then because it wasn't really worth mentioning. Hulk Hogan ran wild. That's basically it. But uh, yeah, wrestling's a huge part of my life. I grew up watching it. It was kind of a way of getting out of reality. By watching guys like my my idol, Brett the Hitman Hart, get in that ring and fight and fight for respect and fight for whatever. He always fought for something, which I completely respect because I feel if something's not worth fighting for, then it's not worth even having. Uh, so yeah. What else? I have a tattoo on my arm. It's Bret Hart's logo. Uh, I had an ear piercing in like high school and it still hasn't closed. Uh, what else? I'm trying to think. This is all, like, on the fly, so I'm sorry for all the ums and uh and mm, and all the silences. Uh, there I go again. I'm really into computers. I'm actually changing my major from, like, liberal arts or some shit like that. Excuse me. Some crap like that. And I'm changing it to, like, computer repair. Because, you know what, I, I want to be a writer. I will be a writer, but while I'm waiting, I figure I might as well get a degree in something I'm good at. So, we'll see what happens with that. Um, no girlfriend yet, you know, I'm still looking. And I don't really know if I'll ever have, you know, find the right one, but I don't mind waiting. It's worth the wait. I see that now, but you wait. Like, a week from now, you'll see a video. Oh, I'm never gonna get a girl. They're not worth it. And yeah, so... We'll see. <laughs> uh, 
Um, I think that's pretty much it for now. Um, I live with my mom and my sister. My mom's been my rock. My mom and my grandmother have been my rock through everything I've been through. They have always been there. And I completely owe my life to them. And I live with my sister who, she's getting older. And we're kind of very, very different people. And we don't like each other much unless the other one wants something. But, I don't know. I did all I could to help that kid. And if she wants to, you know, go in the right direction, great. If not, it's her choice. I hope that she grows up and she does well. I hope she doesn't go down the wrong path. Because if she gets out of this teenage phase, <laughs> then she can be a great kid. I've seen her be a great person. But then the next minute, she's psycho, like all teenagers. <laughs> uh, I also have my mom's boyfriend, Ernie. He is annoying as hell. <laughs> but hey, she's on my. He's basically been a father figure to me. He is really important in my life. And so is his daughter, Abby, who's here on the weekends. And me and Ernie are a lot alike in a lot of ways, which is scary. Because <laughs> you know how I say opposites attract? Well, two people who are alike don't get along so well. But he's always there for me, and I'm always there for him to annoy the crap out of him. <laughs> but it's fun. Uh, Abby is five. She's a terror, but she's a, she's a good kid. Just, uh, had a rough beginning. Uh, she's gonna, you know, grow up, and I hope she, uh, does well, too. Just like my sister. I hope she does well. And I hope, you know, they're still, you know, still here. I hope nothing happens with my mom and Ernie. And I hope I can watch, you know, watch Abby grow up into a fine young woman. I think that's really it for now. I think that it really is time. I think that's it. I'll talk to you guys again soon.